Hello, uh, today's topic is about maximizing your effectiveness. You know, we often talk about efficiencies and I was uh, in a recent uh, interview with a professor in Vermont and, uh, and he actually explained that um, effectiveness is far more important than efficiency because if you're efficient in something that's not effective, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. So I thought that was quite intriguing to be quite honest with you. We kind of get caught up on different words. But I want to step back a little bit. I want to step back some, in time and look back when we first started our educational system. We looked at educating ourselves and how that educational system has progressively brought us through how we absorb information. And I've yet to see a class in any level, in kindergarten right through, right through to university, where we have a class that says, here's how you store information, here's how you absorb information, and here's how you use the information. Um, I think that in, in essence that would be the number one thing that, that the educational system should put in place is like here's how we organize information, here's how we absorb information, here's the best way we can absorb information and store it in our minds. So that's being effective. Let's, let's look at it from an effective uh, standpoint and that to me is an effective way of managing information in our brains. Some of us are left brain thinkers, some of us are right brain thinkers. So if you're thinking, if you're teaching elements of, of that really contribute to the attributes of a left brain thinker, a right brain thinker might get lost in the process. So let's first and foremost identify how we strengthen both sides of those brains and move forward. That is for you know something that our, our educational system can adapt to into their curriculum quite easily. Um, we got to take a look at ourselves and as adults we have to take a look and step back who we are and reflect on ourselves and sometimes that's really difficult to do because we get a little bit biased of who we are. Sometimes we start thinking about what we want to be opposed to really who we really are. And I think that that's the most effective thing that we have to look at. What are our strengths? What's the magic in our day? What makes us a special person in our workforce? What makes us special in our lives? And what are we comfortable with? And I think that's the most important thing we have to look at here. What are our strengths? Identifying um, your left brain thinking opposed to your right brain thinking. Those are just simple things that you can identify with and, and understand what feels comfortable to you and what feels uncomfortable to you. What are you naturally drawn to opposed to what's really difficult for you to deal with? And I think that the only way that we can effectively do this is by taking a step back and actually looking at what we need to do to improve our skills and our skill set. Effectively stepping back and assessing our process. And that is one of the things that we found through our human behavior study that not a lot of people do very good. And stepping back and saying, I'm in this process, I'm working every day, I'm putting my 10 hours in, my 12 hours in, but I've yet to step back and say, hang on a second here, am I using the best resources to get the most effectiveness out of my day? And I think that taking back, as Stephen Covey once said, sharpening the saw, having to look back at what we do in our day, and is there another more effective way of doing it? You know as well as I do, there's people in your office that are incredible delegators. They delegate responsibility, they got a whole bunch of people working for them, and they seem so much more relaxed than everybody else. Well, they have a way of delegating responsibility, making you feel like you're part of the group and you can do it, and that's their strength. They are great delegators, they're great leaders in that way. Other people are people that take the burden on, that take that responsibility on, and the old saying goes, you want something done, give it to a busy person. Well, in today's world, because the world has gotten so fast, we have the ability to take on all this information. Because it's coming so fast at us right now, the baby boomers, as they say, are getting very burnt out because there's just way too much information and they haven't stopped to look at the process in terms of how we can actually streamline it in a fashion that we can digest it, file it, and store it, and have a place to go back to and get it from in an effective manner. So that's my message for today. My message today is step back and really take a look at yourself. Process the information, be truthful to yourself and say, what am I good at? What makes me feel uncomfortable in my day? And how can I get better, better at it? And one of the things you can do to do that is reach out to your, to your superiors, reach out to your people in your workforce, into your circle of influence and say, hey, I'm having trouble with this. The greatest leaders in the world all have a circle of influence they go to for, for, for a sounding board, people they reflect things to and from. So make sure you go back, have a look at that, go back to your circle of influence, share your information, and I guarantee you'll get better. And hopefully, your mother's a part of that. Don't forget to call your mother. Have a great day.